Hi, this is Jim Brandt with Best Practical, and today I'd like to show you a quick demo of some of the attachment handling features that we've added in RT44. So as you can see on the screen here, we have uh, I have an instance running. It's uh, I can see down at the bottom. This is RT44, and to start off, what I'm going to do is just go up, and uh, this user Watson uh, has access to this one queue, this support queue. So we'll go up and create a new ticket in the support queue. Typical uh, ticket create screen. Uh, say we have a user who needs some help. So you can see as I start typing into the, the main message box here, uh, the RT has detected that I've typed attached, right? And this is just like most of your uh, email clients act. They look for words like attached, attachments, things like that. And then they give you a reminder to say, hey, make sure, it looks like you use the word attachment. Make sure that you actually go ahead and attach that. And this, of course, avoids the uh, sending the email, attached are the screenshots, and then you send it without the attachment and then you immediately follow up and say and you know here's the actual attachment so so that's a nice feature to just sort of detect that as you're going through and, and give you that little bit of a reminder and you'll also notice that this attachment box looks a little bit different than it traditionally has so uh, you can see now you can actually drag and drop files uh, to attach them to tickets so if I want to say I have some attachments and I want to pop over here to the finder I can just grab those drag those over into this uh, gray area here, and then that attachment gets added to the ticket there. It's also neat, you can actually do multiples at one time as well, which is nice. So say uh, I actually have two attachments that I want to stick on this ticket. I can grab both of those, drag those over, and just drop them on there. Uh, you see that uh, inside this box now, once the attachments have been added, there's also a preview, which is great to just confirm that you've actually attached the, the right file, the thing that you intended to attach. Uh, so that's good for a, just at a quick glance, you can tell that you've got the right thing on there. And as you can see, there's the, the X's, you can get rid of those. Now, when I dropped those on there, it happened kind of quick, but um, you would have seen a, you might've noticed a little progress bar that went across the bottom there. Another feature that we've added is we actually start uploading the attachments in the background uh, as soon as you attach them. So if you're doing uh, something like this where you're uh, typing in uh, your, uh, a response um, and you put the attachments on there and then maybe you're typing a little bit more or you're uh, doing some things with the other metadata on the ticket, it's already working on uploading those attachments so that when you're ready to go and you actually click on create, uh, you don't have to wait then for the ticket to be created and then the attachments to upload. So that should make it feel a little bit snappier uh, when you uh, work through um, adding tickets with large attachments. And if you don't like the drag and drop, you can actually click on this area and it's still going to act uh, the way that maybe you're used to where you, where you pop into a, a select window, a finder window here, and then you can still select. And same thing, you can actually select multiples there and you get the same experience. So if you prefer that way, that is still available to you as well. So let's go ahead and create this ticket. And we can scroll down here, created the ticket, and you can see these are, these are screenshots uh, and they've been attached to this ticket now. And then the other thing that we've added is if I go in and I say uh, comment, say I wanna add somebody to this, I wanna make sure they saw it. So uh, I'll add somebody uh, to the one time CC. And if I go down, you'll see now on this window, those attachments are now available so that I can reuse the attachments. I don't have to go find the attachment again or find it on my desktop or something, drag it in and then re-add it to the ticket. Uh, they're available down here. So this also prevents um, the sometimes confusing multiple of the same attachment being on the ticket. You can see we still have just the two uh, and I was able to reuse one of the existing attachments on there rather than adding another one back in. So it keeps the ticket from being confusing and it also saves a little bit of space in your database because you're not adding the same attachment uh, multiple times. So that is some of the uh, user interface uh, improvements that we've made around attachments. And then there's one uh, for your admins as well on the back end. If I go to the documentation section and I go into 4.4, the 4.4 docs are already up there. Uh, and I go into the config, you can see there's this external storage option. So now there's an option to store attachments outside of your database, uh, perhaps on your file system somewhere, on your server, or as you can see down here, there's actually options for some external storage as well on uh, Amazon 
or on Dropbox. So if you have an RT that you use uh, a lot of attachments with, maybe a lot of big images or PDFs or even PowerPoint presentations can be really large uh, and can get attached, and you want to be able to store those uh, external to the database uh, for some reason, that's now a standard option that uh, you can enable. And it saves on the size of your database, uh, which is also saves then on the size of your backups. So for some people, this is uh, a good option. And that's now going to be standard in RT 4.4. So we hope uh, this was helpful for you today, and we hope you upgrade to 4.4 soon. Thanks. <laughs>